Hey everybody, Shoma32 here. Welcome to the channel. We're here today to react to the first episode of Season 2 of Star Wars The Bad Batch. And I believe this episode is entitled Spoils of War. I am so freaking excited to react to this. I am so excited. I loved the first season. I absolutely loved it. It was nice. Good size for me, for my brain to handle. as half an hour episode. And it was really, really good. I loved the animation. The voice acting is great. The Bradley Baker is fantastic. Everybody was great. It was just really cool. I absolutely loved it. I don't know. I was. I don't know why I watched it because I'm going to say outright I have not watched Clone Wars or Rebels. I have not. I have recorded a reaction quite a while ago now to the Clone Wars movie. I haven't put it out yet because I want to do. I want to put the movie out and then go straight into Clone Wars. But if you'd like me to get ahead with finishing the edit on that movie, let me know in the comments below because it was interesting. It was good. I, don't, I really want to do Clone Wars, but I've been waiting so long. <laughs> like, since like the first episode was like, they better, I want more of this. I absolutely want more of this. Like, I love it. I've just realized I haven't got my, I planned on having my Wrecker mug. I've got that great big Wrecker mug that Disney does. I was having a plan and just putting any old drink in it and just having that sitting there like that, watching it. That's a hefty mug. I, I love all the characters. The team just goes so well together. Like, they're all so freaking cool. I loved um Moochie, the little uh, baby uh, Rancor. Like, if I ever get a dog, I kind of want to... If I get a female dog, I want to call it Moochie because it's a little badass. And, um, oh, that, that finale... I don't do well with water stuff, like or being underwater anyway. I don't like boats either, so that's not too, that's quite difficult. But that was like quite tense and anx anxiety inducing with that. And then we left Crosshair on top, and he's saying it's just him, but he feels betrayed. I, that was so. I love that dynamic, especially when he revealed he had it taken out long ago. So cool. Like we written, obviously we had Rex as well, which I knew of Rex. I've absolutely heard of Rex, even though I haven't watched Clone Wars or Rebels. I know this is this is set like between it, isn't it? Because Rex is older than Re in Rebels. But I really like Rex. I got the hype for that, and um, I really like um the bar. I really like the bar with the two guys that are always there, especially since they're from Critical Role. But that's another story. <laughs> oh dear, I'm so excited to do this. Now we've got two episodes today, so I. Going to get the first one done, but I've also got to do my Blake 7 reaction, so um, I will get the second one out as soon as possible, but again, quite a busy few days, and also my daughter's going to be home tomorrow, so I find it quite difficult to edit when she's around. She's very distracting, very loud, and attention-seeking, in a good way. I'm nervous, if you can't tell. Now, I will apologise if I forget anything. I will apologise, because my memory is terrible. If you've been here before, you know my memory is absolutely awful. So if I forget anybody's names or confuse names or anything like that, I apologize. Like I remember Hunter, Wrecker, Omega. My now I'm trying when I actively try to remember things, my head just goes blank. Like I know the others. I know like Crosshair and they're right fucking there. The name's right there. But because of how my brain works, when I actively try to think of it, it's just nope. Not there. Like I'll remember it. I know them. I love the show. But my brain, because I've got a major headache as well, is like, I'm not, I'm not fucking working, go away. Oh, I like Ram. I want to see Rampart. I ha didn't like him in the first one for good reason, because he's the villain. But I've got a soft spot for him because he voices one of my fav favorite favorite um, video game characters in Horizon Forbidden West. He's Catalo. I love Catalo. So I like, I probably will smile if he's in this. But if you can't tell, I'm nervous about starting. I always get nervous at the beginning of a new season or something, especially if I'm watching it as it airs. Oh, I'm so nervous and excited. Oh, this is going to be so good. Oh, let me breathe. I get ex I, I, yeah. I'm excited, but I'm nervous. I really hope it's as good as first season. I'm nervous. Yeah, I keep saying that. I'm nervous if you can't tell. <laughs> but if you enjoy this reaction don't forget to like comment subscribe give the notification bell a tick you'll know when the next episode goes live 
let's get going with the reaction in three two one let's go i love this with chopper that's it chopper we saw chopper as well i'd heard i knew all of chopper but again i don't if those characters that pe people will like know and love from like clone wars and rebels if they come in here and i don't get the reference please forgive me i haven't watched them yet but i will wow look at that clip look at that water that looks beautiful there they are oh are they got different colors on their suits oh hell no what the fuck Oh, I love that ship too. They, oh, she fishing. There she is. There's our girl. I love the animation the way it looks like it's got paint strokes all over it. Her hair is growing too. Does this unscheduled break mean you are fully versed in every ship Aww. in your fleet? Do I have to do this right now? Yeah, if I could do school. I would love to see Omega in live action. We could use some fire Heck. Thank you. It, all the, the rest of the names were right there. Like, just out of my vision. Couldn't quite see it enough to remember. And I, oh, I hate it. And I think it's big. Release the line. We do not have time to read. Oh, crap. That's what you call one of those. Oh, Omega. I'm okay. Hang Climb on. up. Hurry up. What way to start? I love her little outfit. I'm going to have to get that Funko as well if they can bring out with it because I got all the first series ones. Shit. Oh, nice. Oh, she's, been, she's doing really well with that now. Stid was awesome when she taught her that. Plus three of her ones, that's awesome. What the? Oh, God, I thought I saw something behind. Uh -oh. I'm so excited. I've missed this. Do not catch it first. Whoa, nice shot. She's doing so well with that now. Jack, where are you? I like the yellow bits they got on their suit now and the orange. It's like they're less dark now, you know? Appreciate the backup. In Oi, she saved your skins. I'll try. But it was still pretty fun. <laughs> I have missed them. He's basically the dad one. The other ones are the uncles. Go on, give me Sid. There they are. Mistress Sid has been extremely vocal about her displeasure. Is it just the two of them again? I want to hear him talk. Is that Sam Regal and um, Liam O'Brien? Late than dead, I always say. And who are you? Yeah. Wouldn't you like to know? Who is she? This is the top team you've been talking about. I know that voice. However, the phenotypic eye color for all clones is brown. Iris pigmentation was not affected by well, a mutation. Well, as fascinating as this is, <laughs> I have places to be. Why did she tell her? You. Who they Let's were. see those muscles in action. Grab that and follow me. Oh, is she the person they were selling to? I expect a cut if your top team comes through. What is going on? Why did Sid tell them? Tell her about them. That is Castle Sereno, the former home of Count Duke. What? Who is that? A Jedi who betrayed the Republic. Yeah. And led the Separatists in a war. What? Duke's entire war chest is up for grabs. The Empire's already started pillaging his palace. But there's what? still time to strike before it's all gone. Bit dangerous. Too much of a risk. Yeah. You want that war chest? You go after it. I do love it. It looks like he's got paint strokes and stuff like that. The way they've done the color, it's awesome. Worth more than all the jobs you pulled for me combined. You can buy your freedom. I highly doubt they're clones. They're clones. They're probably uh, never be entirely free. It's only a matter of time before the Empire comes here, and then my little operation is yeah. Over means no more jobs for you she does have a valid point yeah She's kind of put on her neck on the line as well with in that regard and you'll have the means to disappear no more risky missions i highly doubt it then far find them taking her off camino was the right thing to do yeah there are others out there who need i he has got a point but i understand both their sides 
we should be doing more. I understand where both of them are come from. He wants to protect Omega, but then Echo's right because there are other people out there that need help, and they they're in a position to be able to do that. Shit, she heard it. Oh, Lula! I really want to get a Lula from the Disney store, but I missed it. I wanted to get Lula. I would love a Lula. They look so cuddly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep, can't, I keep going on about it. I love the colour on the suits now. It's awesome. It's, they're still their suits, but they, they've lightened it up a bit more, given it a bit more life. She overheard him. You think they'd at least get different helmets and stuff like that so it didn't look so much look like a Stormtrooper helmet or whatever came before, you know? I know there's different varieties they've got, but... Whoa! Imperial Orbital Bombardment. Same as Old Camino. Shit, me. It appears that they are beginning to transport the war chest off-world. No Our shit! opportunity is quickly closing. You want to get some of it, at least. There's over 40 troopers down shit. there. <laughs> That's nothing! Yeah, let Wrecker at them. If things go sideways, I'll divert their forces and buy you some time. Oh, I don't like them splitting up. The second transport's launching. Shit. I'm, I'm not sure they're going to be able to carry, you know? Or are they going to have to nick one? I don't think they're going to be able to carry it get enough. Stay alert. I don't know how they're going to get enough. I feel like there's going to be a twist coming, you know? Like they're going to run into something. Let's see. Is it a jammer or a tracker or something? Let's go. This looks so fucking gorgeous. And my um, internet's not allowing the top quality either, so... Whew. Wrecker, hide. Shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> it dong. <laughs> I did it quietly. They will definitely notice when he does not... Yeah! Well, let's be gone by then. I'll keep watch. Stop loading up. When I watch Clone Wars, I'm not looking forward to finding, like, seeing what happens to Echo. This is only a fraction of it. But yeah. That is all we need. How are you going to get it back? Items of high value. What? Oh, are they going to find something? Are they going to? What are they going to find? The remaining containers from the palace. Stay on schedule. What are they going to find? Are they going to find? How did some, nobody see him then? He's got to be jamming their ships, right? Oh, come on, buddy. He's not there. He's gone now. He's Hunter. He's better than that. What are they going to find? Are they going to find something? Ooh, very nice. What are they going to find? They're going to find something important, right? Something major. I'd say that qualifies as high value. What the hell? This belonged to one person. It is safe to assume that the majority of Dooku's fortune came from the many wow. worlds he controlled and exploited. All in the name of his war effort. That's what corrupt people do. Mm hmm But then again, I saw some of the, the um, Tales of... Is it Tales of the Jedi? Uh, you saw like a little bit... There we go. CT-8801 report. Yeah, we saw like a bit of like his like history in um, Tales of the Jedi or whatever it's called. I only saw little bits of those because I didn't want to get too spoiled. But stuff with Count Dooku. Oh. Seeing his reasons behind it. It's such complex, more complex character than we imagined. Oh, he wasn't jamming, he was blowing them up. Shit. Transport team, fall back and hold your positions. I'm heading your way. Be ready. Let's speed this up. Wrecker, that one goes first. Yeah, well, are they going to find something really important? Now, hopefully they haven't put trackers in those. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Something's gotta go wrong because they've given us two episodes to start. Transport three, secure your cargo and prepare to launch. All squads return to the courtyard and hold the perimeter. He, yeah, he kind of sussed it, didn't he? Shit. Oh no. That's what went wrong. Shit. Where are the others? Still in the container. Take the 
ship's taking off. Oh no. I think they know something's up. We're done hiding anyway. Come on. The per that's the two you want going after you. Those two. Don't say stuff like that. <gasps> Fit me! I don't like seeing Hunter fall. Yeah, he don't like his heights, does he? Hunter, hold on fucking tight. That was full transport. We gotta go. Go where? Jump. What the fuck? But what about what about the guys? This isn't any better. Aww. Like he's afraid of heights, but he does stuff, you know? We'll get to the Marauder and recover you. It's gonna take a while. Oh fuck. That's the best two to have at stuff like this, though. Security team with me. We'll flush them out. They could fight their way through. All of them have got all their good advantages and skills. This place gives me the creeps. Hide! Don't you... I know we don't have to worry about it now without the chip, but do not bump Wrecker's head. I <laughs> like that little touch. Boom! This is... Awesome. This is so fucking cool. Yeah, I've missed it so much. Okay, they, at least they've got one chest. They can get that and an escape pod. That would be really handy. Shit! Echo. Tech. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm, I, I've got to get rid of Oh no. They just ejected all the escape pods. There has to be another way off of this ship. Yeah. Other than overtaking this vessel. Yeah. What do you suggest? That's exactly what I was going to suggest. This is a class 4 freighter, isn't it? She's just been learning about this stuff. We can this is a top in a cargo container. You are correct. I am impressed. Nice. The containers must be ejected before leaving the atmosphere. Which we'll get on with it then. Is rapidly closing. Fucking move! Well, if you're going to be in a container, you don't need that lot, do you? Leave that one behind. Get in another container, you'll be fine. Or at least pocket some of the stuff out of it. Nice. Yeah, just leave the container. If you're getting in a big one, you'll be okay. They're going to have to go through that window. Glass window behind you. Broken glass window, jump through it. We're not going out, we're going down. There's a lift below us. Oh. How the fuck did he work that lift? What is taking you so long? I'm it's an old bit of... Yeah. Usually does this. And it's probably not been used for a while. It's jammed. Oh, I know. Oh, Sorry, I almost made a um, Space Balls reference. I couldn't help myself. Oh god, I just had flashbacks. I was in a lift once, somebody did that and it jammed the lift and there was like 13 other people. And I'm claustrophobic. That was fun. Oh shit, they gotta get in a container. Of course, it makes sense that Eka, um, Omega was doing having those type of lessons about ships and that. And leading to this. Ooh, How much time works. Do we have? Very little. Then stop fucking talking and carry on. Le you leave my boys alone. Don't anybody get left behind, please. Get in there! Oh, thank fuck for that! I thought... <laughs> and they're gonna have to spend time to recover all that now. Uh, are you sure you got the right model? What are they gonna hit? Come on, Omega! Oh no! Fire, please! Fire! What's that one going off in a complete? Don't oh, fucking don't. Now, I'm going to watch the credits, guys, and I want to see who that um, other woman was. Because I knew that voice. She's obviously going to come back into it. But, oh, that was really cool. Ah, D. Bradley Baker, that's the Bad Batch. Wanda Sykes, that was it. <coughs> Excuse me. But Wanda Sykes, I had the name right there, like the other, like um, Echo and Tech. I had the name right there. Just not quite enough. We had to say it. Oh. Got Rhea Perlman and Wanda Sykes in a scene together. That is a duo. Ah, oh, that was really fun. 
straight into action. I like that. That was awesome. That was really fun. And I'm so glad we got a second episode because ending like that, they're going to be able to, Tech's going to be able to do something or Omega's going to be able to do something and something's going to happen. They're even if they don't get the thrusters working, they'll be able to cushion the landing or something. But then they've got to get Hunter and Wrecker there and Hunter and Wrecker have got to get out of first. Oh, I'm going to do Coast Place. Oh man, that was awesome. That was gorgeous. It's like a lot of animation. I don't I'm like, I didn't need to watch it in like 4K. I haven't got a 4K screen. I've only got like basic, like, I think it's full HD. I'm not sure. But not much animation. I feel like I need to watch in 4K. I would love to watch this in 4K. Just like the way the color looks and like this, just, I said it earlier, like the, where they look like they got paint strokes on their face with the texture. I love that. It looks so beautiful. It's so fucking gorgeous, this show. And the, the color on their suits is so cool because it's like they were like still in there, like um, Imperial, like what well, was it before? It was Imperial. No, it was in Empire. No, wait, it wasn't. Reformed into a first galactic empire. Sorry, I haven't seen, again, I haven't seen Clone Wars, so I don't know. That, and because I've got so much going on in my mind at the moment, I'm having trouble getting individual facts come out. So I do apologise if I get any Star Wars facts wrong. Some stuff I just don't remember, because my memory's so terrible. But some stuff, when I've got this like much jumbling around in theories and all that sort of jumbling around in my head at once, it's difficult to get things out completely how I want to say them. So apologies if I mispronounce stuff or if I misname stuff or anything like that. I really can't help it. I love... I, great if you like give me little facts or like if i miss say something politely tell me and stuff like that obviously no spoilers for clone wars or rebels rebels is after they said that that's not so bad but yeah the in the first season they were still in like their well, pre-empire like type dark um armor they had the little bits of red a little bit white there was but it was mostly like gunmetal gray and like black type worn type color but now they've got orange, they've got bits of dark blue, they've got yellow. They're becoming more like light, more like they've got, they can do what they want to their armor. They're not part of an army, they're not, they don't have to, it's not a uniform anymore. It's just like going, you could tell we're part of a group, but we're our own group, we're our own people now. We can do what we want with what we're wearing. We don't have to worry about whether or not somebody goes you're not in your uniform type thing and i love that they've got they're bringing their own personality to their their uniforms or not uniforms armor see because i'm trying to get all the information out and all i want to say at the moment all at the same time i'm mis saying stuff i hate it when this happens but i'm fucking excited like i forgot my headache i couldn't feel my headache whilst watching that because i forgot about it it's coming back a bit now because i'm thinking of it but I forgot about it watching that because I've waited. I loved season one. Like, I wasn't reacting to it. I, hey, it's before I was reacting. It's been quite a while, hasn't it? But um, I wasn't reacting to it at the time. So, like, I was just sat there. I would literally wait until it was on. Literally, as soon as it was on Disney+, Plus, I'd watch it. My daughter would be sat next to me. I'd just sit there and watch it. Because I just, I don't know why. I just thought... I watched the trailer, I was like, oh, that looks good. Oh, Fennec Shand, nice. That looks quite fun. I'll watch it. And it's fucking great. And this episode was just straight in at the deep end. Awesome. Different scenery. Like, re-meet re the characters and just like that. It's just like, chuck us straight in. I really liked that. That was a fun episode. And I'm so glad they've done two episodes today. Because that would have been a nightmare to wait to find out. Oh, they're going to survive. They're not going to kill all three of them off in that one thing. But it would still be an nightmare going, oh my god, how the hell are they going to get out of that if the things aren't, the thrusters aren't going? But we got a second episode. Now, I know they've got like individual episodes, and then I think partway through the season, there's a, another week where we've got two episodes again. But hopefully, then my daughter will be in school. This week, she's only doing today and Friday. And she's special needs, learning difficulties and stuff like that. So she requires a lot of attention. And also, 
it's very difficult to concentrate with her because she's very hyper, very loud and stuff like that. So I've got this edit. I'm going to do this one first. Try and get this on out today. But I'm going to record the second one as well. And I've also got Blake 7, episode 4, I want to say. So I'm going through Blake 7. It's brilliant so far. And that's meant to be due out tomorrow, but I've already said because this is a busy week, less time to do it. Difficult beginning of the week. I'm not going to go into it here. I've been into it in bit different videos and in my community tab. But we'll tr I'll try to get the second episode out as soon as I can. But oh, I'm so glad this show's back. I'm so fucking glad this show's back. I'm going to make sure my um, record mug's clean for next week so I can just sit there all excited. And like if Disney Plus was selling the Lula doll, so I would have got, I would get it. But I tried to look for it the other day and it was sold out. Or it's not available anymore. And I'm really fucking annoyed because I want it. But oh, they better. I kind of want them to release Funkos with these new uniforms or new um, armor and um, an Aegis outfit. But I also don't because it means I've got to buy them all. So I bought, as soon as they released the first lot, I've just bought it all in one. They're packed away at the moment because I'm moving soon. Like the packed away, I'm not even sure where they're packed away, but I'm gonna love. I can already tell from this first episode, I'm gonna love this season as much as the last. I just, I just love the dynamic between all of them. It's so fucking good. This show, I love it. I love it. I love it. My head's already trying to think. How am I gonna fit in Clone Wars? I'm gonna have to get Clone Wars done sooner rather than later. I think. Are Clone Wars episodes like half an hour long? Because if they're only half an hour long, I might be able to fit that in somewhere. Like, batch watch them and then I can edit when I can. I might be able to fit Clone Wars in. I feel like now I need to. Or at least after this. Actually, Clone Wars is before this, so it doesn't matter if I watch it alongside. I'll figure it out. So my head's racing. It's like, now this is maybe going, I really need to watch Clone Wars. I need to get that movie edited. Maybe put that one out, see what people think. And then that literally was several months ago I recorded it. But I'm, I'm buzzing now. I needed this today. I needed this show today. It's just like I was feeling down, headache, a lot of pain because of my hypermobility. And this has just boosted me right back up again. And I can literally finish this, have a break, stretch my legs, go straight into the second episode. Oh, I love this show. It made me happy last time, and it's just made me happy now. I, I, I'm buzzing. I can't help it. I love this. I really love it. It's one of my... I know a lot of people might not say the same, but it's one of my favourite pieces of Star Wars. I just love... I'm assuming Clone Wars would be the same, and Rebels most likely. But Season 1 was one of my favourite pieces of Star Wars. I love it. And it just made me happy. And it was emotional. and so well done. And this episode was great. We had no crosshair. No rampart, but we got to go to Dooku's place. And we're going to be there next time. So it's going to be fun. Oh, that's good. I'd love to know what you guys thought of this episode. Any little, if there's any little callbacks, obviously no, spo no spoilers, but if there's any like callbacks to Dooku or certain things like going, oh, when you do watch Clone Wars, look out for this bit, you'll recognize this, you'll recognize that place, blah, 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 that type of thing. I would love to know what you guys think. Um, I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You know when the next episode goes live. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.